Now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. Hello, everyone. A new era for Southern Illinois University men's basketball. Director of Athletics Tim Leonard introducing Scott Nagy as the 15th head coach in Saluki's history. Now, Nagy is a proven winner, an overall career record of 577 wins to 332 losses. He spent the past eight years at Wright State, that's in Ohio, and Leonard is glad that he got Nagy as the coach, but he actually came across him while checking out some other candidates. I think the first time I talked to Scott about him as a candidate was Tuesday morning. We hit the things that I wanted to talk about, he wanted to talk about, and he said, what's next steps? I said, let's get you on a plane and get you out here, and let's see if it's a fit. I knew it was the right decision, and so we had to overcome the emotional part of it and work through that, and we did, uh, and, and then we made a decision, and we know it's a great move. Now the hiring of Nagy as the head coach comes three weeks after SIU let Brian Mullins go. Nagy gets a six year contract with $600,000 per year. Staying on college hoops, Three Rivers versus Northwest Florida State in the Junior College Elite Eight. But it's not the start the Lady Raiders would want to get off to. And you can see things quickly spiral out of hand. Northwest Florida State, they jump out early and they would grab a double digit 12 to 2 lead. Still, though, the Lady Raiders are fighting in this one. Brittany Wells scores. Let's take a look at the score because currently Three Rivers is fighting back, but it might be too little too late. About eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, so they still do have some time. But of course, if you don't win this one, you are out of the national tournament. Currently, Northwest Florida State has that 12 point lead. Let's go over to track and field. It's day two of the Joey Haynes Invitational at SEMO, and you can see some of the hammer throw right here. It was one of the headline events today. Also finishing up was the heptathlon and decathlon, both won by SEMO athletes. In the hammer throw, Kenzie Williams had the best mark, though she is redshirting this spring. Parker Fuerborn finishes third on the men's side. Now, let's go over to baseball. Pretty big crowds on Friday night. That's the hill right there. And this is Ben Palmer coming home from a Ty Stouse double. And the Red Hawks starting out hot. Josh Cameron would walk. Bases were loaded. Michael Mugen would score as a result. Currently, however, the Red Hawks are down in the bottom of the ninth. We're going to have that final score up at 10. Now, in the softball, a close game in Southern Indiana. Simo trying to win in the seventh inning. Brooklyn says off. She gets on base. She would be the tying run potentially. And then a single right here puts the Red Hawks. They got two runners on bases, but Josie Newman of USI shuts Simo down. Screaming Eagles win, but Simo would come back later in the day with a 6-0 shutout. That win being head coach Mark Redburn's 250th. 